guys it's candy and welcome back to my channel so today i thought i would share with you guys what's in my refrigerator so i tend to call it a fridge so if i call it that feel free to correct me my entire family tells me that this is not called a fridge or i'll say put it in the fridge or something like that and they're like it's a refrigerator i don't know what the difference is but I call it a fridge. Anyways, here is my fridge. <laughs> this is what it looks like on the outside. This fridge is two separate units. The freezer is on this side with a water and ice dispenser. And this lights up actually. Pretty nifty. And then the refrigerator is on this side. So I thought I would go through, kind of show you a little bit of what we have inside the refrigerator and freezer. So I always think these videos are interesting to watch. So I thought I would share with you guys today what is inside my fridge. Go ahead and show you the refrigerator side first. I'll start up here at the top. I'm not going to go through like every single specific thing, but just to give you an idea, it's kind of weird that the very first thing in the fridge is a can of beer. But other than that, up here on the top shelf, we have pickles. We have, I always have to have the hamburger like sliced pickles because I love pickles on my burgers or my cheeseburgers. And then it looks like we have some half and half, which I'm really not sure how long this has been in here. This is gonna be funny. We'll see how much I end up cleaning out as I'm doing this. Just like I know these yogurts belong down here with the rest of them. So we're just gonna slide those down here. Oh, maybe that's why they're not down here because there's no room. Anyways, I'm gonna put this beer back up here. I don't know why I was still holding it. All right, so pickles are up here. We have peppers. Andrew, he likes to make, he takes like Tostitos and then puts like cheese and peppers. I'm not sure if he does salsa too, but that's what his peppers are for. It looks like we have lots of peppers. Uh, what else? We have some other pickles. There's only one left in there. Boar's head pickles. We have taco sauce. Oh, here's uh, another kind of, I don't even know what this is. I don't need a lot of this stuff in here, guys. I'm a pretty picky eater. So we, it looks like we have some salsa or pizza sauce left from something. We have some Kirkland salsa from Costco. And then we have Tostitos salsa and a can of pineapple tidbits. So that's the top shelf. Next shelf here, we have some Gordo's cheese dip. Looks like some like queso dip. We have some leftover um, red skin potatoes. I made red skin potatoes with our chicken last night. So here was some leftovers. And then down here, oh, here's another salsa. Guess we'll slide that up top. We have some Hooters wing sauce. The kids love to get those little like bags of chicken chunks or whatever from Kroger. Oh, my alarm started to go off. And then they mix it with the Hooter sauce. So down here on this shelf then, oh, we have more queso dip, more salsa, another salsa. These are like olives that you get from like the grocery store and like the, it's almost like a salad bar type thing. You can pick your own olives. But there's applesauce, there's several different kinds of cream cheese. Sorry, you gotta look at the back of my head so much. We have chip dip, and then we have some Chobani yogurt, and then a bunch of like just plain vanilla um, yogurt from Kroger, a few Yoplait, orange cream, those are the best. All right, kind of moving stuff around here. Then we have our eggs in the little container here. And then we have country crock, um, margarine. We have some strawberries. We have a packet to make guacamole. And then we have a thing of mixed cherry fruit and some, ah, some uh, pineapple tidbits. Carly eats these in her lunches. All right, and then we have Miracle Whip. And then we have some yogurts with granola and fruit. We just got these from the health food store the other day. We have some whipped butter. Sour cream. 
Slow's barbecue sauce. More yogurts. We have a small thing of tomatoes. And then we have some pomegranate seeds, I guess. Is that what they call them? Yeah, pomegranate seeds. And a thing of some other fresh fruit that Carly also picked out at the health food store. And then, moving down here, beverages. We have some 100% juice. Apple juice is almost gone. Chase drinks this. V8 juice, Ken drinks that. We have some crystal light. I think it's like a green tea or something. Um, we have some scampy seafood sauce. That should try to make its way in the door over here. We have Diet Pepsi. We have some Prego spaghetti sauce. We have Diet Mountain Dew. And then we have some Famous Dave's barbecue sauce. A bottle of white Zinfandel. That's been in there who knows how long. Some Campbell's tomato juice. And then Carly got these from the health food store the other day too. Some uh, cat food and some dog's turkey bacon. They have to stay refrigerated. So those are in there. Moving down here to our slider drawer, this is where we keep like Swiss cheese, salami, ham. Um, here's some other kinds of cheeses. And then of course we just have regular like American cheese slices. One drawer further, we keep, we have string cheese. We have some Johnsonville sausage. We have the ham that I use in Carly's salads every day. This is what Carly has for lunch every day. Shredded lettuce, little ham pieces, and cheese. Some taco shells, some cream cheese. Oh, these are the chicken chunks I was talking about. We get these from Kroger. You get them, they're already heated, but we just store them in the fridge. These are great for when the, the boys all eat these. Carly and I don't. I don't think Ken does either. Some bagels. We have one more drawer here on the bottom that has some salads in it that Carly picked out again from the health food store. We have some chicken Caesar salads and here's a spinach strawberry salad. We have some plain bagels. We have some sugar cookie dough. We use this when we make fruit pizza. And then there's like some crescent rolls and some cinnamon rolls. And a bag of carrots. Continuing over here on the door, we have some chocolate milk, some 2% milk, a thing of water, some Bolt House Farms vanilla chai tea, some lemonade that's almost gone. Let's see, I'm just gonna go through this quick. Our condiments, we have like Hershey syrup, we have hot sauce, buffalo sauce, Parmesan cheese, French's mustard, A1 sauce, grape jelly, Olive Garden Italian dressing, creamy ranch, Hellman's real mayonnaise, ketchup. This is the salad dressing that Carly has on her salads every day. I put it in a separate little container on the side. I don't like mix it up, she mixes it up. And that looks about it. All right, in the freezer up here on top, we have some like uh, fruit ice cream bars. We have some Eggo waffles, some Bob Evans like sausage and gravy, little biscuit thingies. We have some healthy choice like uh, little freezer meals. Here's the little ice box thingy. This. I couldn't tell you how old this is. This came from the old house. I wonder if these go bad. It's like a frozen pina colada type thing. All right, down here in the bottom, we have some buttermilk waffles. We have some, oops, we have some ground chuck. And then these are all, I don't know, looks like ribeye steak. Some hamburg, frozen hamburgers. Here's some frozen like grilled chicken. This is what I think we're gonna have for dinner today because Carly's just gonna come home um, from dance and have salad. So I've seen this at the freezer section the other day. I know sometimes you guys um, will pick on me about cooking like processed food or whatever. This is the extent of the processed food. 
I do sometimes buy stuff like this. It's frozen teriyaki chicken, breaded white meat chicken with teriyaki sauce, and I can make this and feed the boys, and everybody's happy. So I bought a couple bags of those. Here's some other freezer things. I actually bought these a while ago. Well, it looks like one person ate it. Like a little red berry egg scramble thing. Just like these, I bought these thinking that the boys would maybe eat these when Carly and I are out of town for like dance or something and they've probably been sitting in here for a couple months. Then in our freezer as you come down, there's a drawer here. This is just filled with frozen vegetables. There's corn, there's broccoli, there's mixed vegetables, green beans, Brussels sprouts, pretty much anything. Um, you can think of for frozen vegetables. <laughs> Moving down a little bit further, there's another slide out drawer. There's some more frozen broccoli. There's some of these like uh, breakfast burritos. A couple frozen French bread pizzas, uh, shrimp. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to thumbs it up. Let me know down in the comments below if there's anything else in the house that you would like me to do, like a little tour. I've already done uh, what's in my pantry before. I will link that video up in my iCard. I've done like a master bedroom tour before, I think, on my channel. Um, but let me know what else you would like to see here in my house. And I'm hoping to have more cleaning videos coming and more recipe videos coming soon. So be sure you're subscribed. Stay tuned for more videos here on Candyland. And thanks guys for watching. So make it a great week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.